we are boss bound. Ladder bound. Have the lot. Power of lot will guide us. It's all good. Good to see you back. We're gonna tell this man we're mad at him. Oh, well, let or did you please? You know what I mean. You and me, we're No, we're mad. For heaven's sake, let's not mope. They're still alive. Wait. Thank you for the twin humanities. Let's talk to him again. I did you wrong, but I didn't make Let's talk to him again. I did you wrong. Okay, thanks. Alright, uh, um, I guess we just go buy him up here? Oh, okay, yeah, this is where we need to go. Debating on just running past these dudes. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go check if I can equip that miracle we just got. Not sure how much faith it requires, but uh, we can use it. We might as well, because I think the fire orb's kind of worthless nowadays. Attune magic. Replenishment requires 16 faith. So uh, we have 12. Okay, so the faith and dexterity both will power up our weapons. So we probably will just go ahead and get 16 faith. I knew I wanted to use this or at least have it equipped. I just didn't remember how much faith it required. Either way, we'll get that pretty quick in theory. That's like a boss fight and a half. I'm gonna cry a little bit. It's only really useful outside of combat, if I remember right. These are the dog skeletons I was talking about. Scary as hell. They just look weird. Probably would be better off just um, running past them. Almost certainly we'd be better off just running past them. What have I done? That's where I go. I get confused and turned around easily. Can't see, thank you. Oh god. Pretty sure you just run past these dudes. That's not where I wanted to go. It may be working though. Oh my god, that's... What the hell, why aren't these guys attacking me? Uh, yeah, I've screwed up. How am I not dead? I guess that's a good question to ask. Yeah, you can just run past these dudes, but I um, don't think I did it the correct way. But I guess, uh, I guess it works. This is where I wanted to go. It lose a few more Estus than I would have locked. But we're on the right track. I don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and put my Pyromancer Flame back on in case I do need it. I forgot to clear up all this junk like I said I was going to. Lied to you. Got him. There's an NPC that will invade us, but I don't think we're human. Anyways, this is, uh, never mind. I guess we are human. Oh, uh, that's Ash Lake, is what I was about to say. Come on, I got the range, boys. Oh, okay. Fair enough. I don't want to talk about it. I was just going to try to backstab him. Backstab him. I'm from Australia now. Uh, I was trying to backstab him off the edge and there are he drops like humanity and stuff that I would have liked to have had. And turns out I should have just done that. You might want to use that. Okay. Please let me re-equip my skull lantern. That's not it. Skull lantern. Thank you. Okay, not sure how to get down there, but uh, we'll just fumble until we find it. Goodbye, Patches. What a jerk. Just gonna try to run past this man. Didn't work. This where I go? Maybe. Okay. 
Okay, I guess the dog skeleton has been dealt with. This where I go. I just fail again, like I did the first time. Just keep falling, it worked out the first time, right? Yep, just run it back. Nothing wrong with that. Pretty sure we just go this way. Yep, perfect. Calculated. Uh, this is the kind of play you can expect from this channel. It's good stuff. Good for everybody. I'm going to try not to roll off the edge again. Am I getting skeletoned? I'm getting skeletoned. Probably could just walk by without fighting him. Uh, got him. Our uh, spear is starting to scale into some decent damage, though. It's kind of wondering about it at first. Being that, you know, basic silver knight weapon was better. But I don't know if that would be true right now. Might as well see if this guy invades us again now that we're dead. Probably not. Okay, beautiful Ash Lake. The dude drops a giant, like, club mace thing. Which is pretty good for some builds. Not mine. Or a dex user up in here. But yeah. Pretty close to the next boss. Don't remember exactly how to get to him. Large worm. Activated. You can just run past these large worms. Run past the skeleton that tries to kick you off the side. That would happen if you didn't know about that. He's a large jerk skeleton. Spooky uh, pinwheel area. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, skeleton babies. Nothing weird about that. Pretty sure I was unsettled by the skeleton babies the first time I seen them. But now, you know, there's a jaded old man. It's part of the, the job, right? Usually just run past these dudes, but uh, they're free souls, I guess. Not sure what's down here. I think you can farm humanity off of the baby skeletons pretty easy. Not sure, we might actually try that. Let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, missed. I gotta go. Don't you hit me with that, whatever it was. Okay, got hit with something. not get hit with something. Boss is like a right there, we can just run to it. But these dudes are cool, I guess. Kinda odd to just reuse the same skin from the boss we just fought like five minutes ago that wasn't really a boss. Soul of a hero. Could be my soul because I'm a hero. Ominous set up here. Traverse the white lot. I don't remember what we need to do. We could probably change our shield, maybe. Let's see here. Um, let's put our crest shield on, I think. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Crest shield. This has more mat. I think Nido uses magic. The stability is not as good, but it's good enough for me. Anyway, this spot is awkward. There's a bunch of skeletons in it that we can't permanently kill. But the boss itself will kill it over time. So I think, uh, I don't remember what I need to do. You might just be able to face tank through it and kill him. We'll try it. Cutscene's gotta be skipped. A uh, ton of free damage there. Uh, I got free damage again. Boss is coming. You kind of have to stay here because if you go too far otherwise, you will um, aggro more skeletons. Big skeletons, not even little skeletons. Not doing a ton of damage here. Kind of can't see what's going on, just going to yellow it. 
Oh, took a lot of damage there. Don't need to be doing that. Just two hand him and get in there. Famous last words. We do a decent amount of damage, I guess. I don't know. I, I can't do it. It goes from no damage to like a ton of damage in my mind. I'm kind of just trying to ignore the mechanics of the boss because I don't know what they are. That's why I wanted the magic shield equipped. Let's get in there. Maybe we can kill him real quick. Hit him. He's dead. Thank you. Uh, kind of underwhelming. Kind of didn't do the fall, the bot right. Well, I mean, I did it right, but I didn't. don't think that's really the way you're meant to do it. We go Lord Soul. Pretty sure we can still trigger Giant Skeleton then. Maybe not. They're over there somewhere, I think. Really don't want to aggro them in the middle of the fight. Anyways, that is Tomb of the Giants. Defeated. Second Lord Soul achieved. We go level up. Like I said, we'll get some faith. Let's see, that's um, three points up. Faith is three points up. So it really doesn't make a difference as far as that goes. I don't think that miracle is going to be very useful anyway. But neither is Fire Orb. It's definitely outlived its usefulness. Now, the next boss, the next area rather, we're going to go to the Demon Ruins slash Lost Azalith. Daughter of Chaos is the closest place there. So let's go ahead and go right into it. Didn't really stay in the catacombs or Tomb of the Giants as long as probably a lot of people do. If you don't know the catacombs, the catacombs is kind of a hassle if you don't know how to skip it. You know, I forgot to get my Firekeeper thing fixed, so we can just do that here, I think. Reinforced as this flask. Didn't I pick one up? Did I already use it? I never did go back to Logan's. That's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, we'll pretend to forget about Logan's again. All right, we gotta go. It'd probably be useful for me to go back and talk to Logan and get the Firekeeper soul in there. We don't really need it. But completionist wise, you know, it's sitting in the back of my mind. But I don't really play Dark Souls as a completionist, as you can probably tell. Did I never like this? Yes, I did. Might as well rest at this in case we do die. Don't plan on it. I think that most people agree that this is the worst part of Dark Souls. It's kind of just a lot of boss fights back to back to back. Kind of lame. We were here earlier and killed Ceaseless Discharge. Nice name. Uh, otherwise, all this would be big old lava. So now it's not big old lava. It's just an open plain with a bunch of demons. Taurus demons, if you remember that from the 1940s. Um, most Dark Souls areas are not laid out like this. Just big open places with random bosses copy pasted I think they definitely started rushing towards the end of the game and this is the worst place for that I'm not sure what this is over here but we'll go get it like I said um, the most efficient way to get through here is just kind of run through it there's no point and there's oh wait another Capra demon we we that's another boss well you know anyways I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to go this way don't know but this is kind of just this whole area. This and the next area just are basically the same place. Uh, they're just open fields with random monsters. Copy paste monsters. Most of them aren't even new. But uh, yeah, definitely can see some shortcuts going on in this area of the game. Shortcuts in development, I mean. Can't see. 
I mean, the Taurus Demon's ass. Happens. Not sure which way to go. Don't recall. Did I mess up? I went the wrong way. I think. There's an item over here. Might as well get it. Can't see. I thought there was an item over here. Is there not? Alright, well, apparently I went the wrong way. Okay, I see the item is in the lava. Um, there's a ring that lets us walk through the lava later. Currently can't use it. Don't have it, I mean. Yeah, I don't remember um, having to cut a bunch of demons around, so I've definitely went the wrong way. Maybe I was supposed to go over to the left here. I know we go down here somewhere, right? It's not that way. We'll find out because they can't catch us because we're uh, real fast. Don't know where I was going with that. But I'm glad you're here for it. It's not across that bridge because that just takes us to uh, Cecil's Discharge's boss fight. Probably should just go up here and rest again. I get killed either way, it doesn't matter. Reset these dudes, follow me so I can think about where I need to go. I guess it pretty much has to be over there. It's the only place that's left to go. There's like nothing even over there with the Taurus Demons. Kinda a wasted space. I don't know. This is definitely my least favorite part of Dark Souls. You know, some of the other areas, whether you like them or not, like they're designed well and there's effort put into them. Like, you know, I'm sure a lot of people hate Tomb of the Giants just because you can't see anything, but it does what it was set out to do. I mean, I don't really know what they're trying to accomplish with this area of the game. Probably just uh, get it done and ship it. There's like nothing really unique other than, you know, a bunch of random dudes and open lava fields. It's basically a Mario game. You know I love some Mario. Uh, so it's definitely not this way. Like we'll just go down here and go to the right this time. Instead to the left into the demon fields. Seems legitimate. Could have used a refresher playthrough before I played this on YouTube. But that would ruin half the fun, right? Uh, I think we're on the right track now. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I have gotten lost in like an open damn field. Ah, uh, well there was a spooky goat man demon up here. This might be where we need to go. That over there, we did all of that. So it kind of has to be here. Yeah, that's a bridge. All right. We could fight the sky, we could run by it. Not sure what I remember of doing a lot. I guess we'll just spot it. It's just kind of here. Can I backstab him? Got poked. Dot com. Don't go there. I don't think there's worms here. Somewhere. Maybe not here exactly, but they're in here somewhere. Big worms. Dot com. I've made that joke twice in like two minutes. Hope you enjoyed it. We're probably just gonna run through this because as you I mean, come on. Like this is bad. You can just run through that and the boss is like right there behind us. So that's what we'll do. And wait till you see the boss. If you haven't seen it already. Okay, gotta go. There's hit me in the back. It's all good. No grudges carried here. Um. Okay. Okay. Probably should have healed. And probably should have went down the stairs. Now I know where to go. That was a dumb death. But, you know, it was deserved. I did, I did get hit in the back and, you know, spring my knees a little bit. Happens to everyone. Let's run it back. Big old lava field walking. You know you love to see it. These Eggmen. 
they're pretty cool looking. We'll just run by them, because what else can they do? They certainly can't run. My helmet. I don't know if my helmet's gelling real good with this uh, outfit. I almost would rather use the brass helmet. Because it looks like it has a handlebar on it, if you recall. I don't know, it kind of looks cool. It looks cooler from the front than the back. Like, it, it almost looks spooky, like this. I don't know. I do think that the, the mask is kind of unsettling looking. Of the three masks you can get from Pinwell, I do think that's the creepiest one. Definitely not the most useful one, but it is useful. They're all good. Wrong way again. You avoid all the copy pasta, copy pasted, I mean, Taurus demons, and you go for the copy pasted Capra demons. Look at him, he's like, hey, I remember you. I mean, we could kill all these, but it's kind of lame. Alright, thank you. Wow. Wow, he says. Alright. Well, um, on that note, I think we'll get back to you. We'll explore the rest of the open lava fields. We're right next to another boss fight, and I think there's pretty much another boss fight like right after it. Uh, if we had left the ceaseless discharge up, that would have been like three boss fights in five minutes of walking. But we have not. I've already ruined the flow, so I uh, guess I'll see you in a little bit.